I think I think you know it should be said though the elephant in the room when it comes to this kind of stuff is it's just not as fun as playing competitive sports. Sure. And you know there there are the, those laziness outlets and there's those video game outlets and there's a gazillion excuses and I think that the tough part that most people face is well I don't want to do that or they, they just can't find find it in them to kind of self motivate. Yeah. Unfortunately, this would be like a tangent, but um, <laughs> not I mean kind of not really, but I, I think of it as it's a mindset issue, right? It's, I, I mean, Beth, my wife, says it all the time, a mindset of abundance or a mindset of opportunity. And, I mean, she's 100% right. And it's, it's how do you pivot from your current situation? When we were dealing as a business with the COVID struggles like everyone else was in the world and the country, in my brain, I was thinking to myself, three months from now, we're going to be the ones at the, at the starting line, on the blocks, ready to go when the gun goes off and everyone's going to be licking their wounds in the locker room if they don't prepare so you can do the exact same thing as an individual for any opportunity, for any scenario. We're talking about sports and rehab and everything else, but I think the biggest challenge most people face is changing their mindset to seeing through negativity and, and seizing opportunity. And that's exactly it in sports, too. If you guys have all worked with elite athletes and you know when you get to a certain level, everybody is physically talented. It's not necessarily the physical gift yeah. that separates them. It's mm-hmm. exactly that. It's the mindset. It's the it's the mental side of things. It's it's understanding that that they can they can get an edge by how they think. If you guys ever heard Russell Wilson talk? That guy like he just like thinks like a champion and he yeah. speaks like a champion. And you can hear it when it comes out. It's not, it's Hopefully not, he's not, not right. Yes. <laughs> Coming from a person from Seattle, that, 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 that is very little value. <laughs> very very little value. We could go many other directions with this. I can I can I got many examples. This is so, a very biased opinion. That is biased. Though, though Russ is amazing at it. Okay. Yeah. But back to so unbiased opinions. You look in so in professional baseball. Another example. We got a, we had an all star uh, major league baseball all star that came in the facility this off season. We've got a big number of guys that are low levels in the major leagues or minor leagues. And the one thing that sets him apart from all the rest is how he thinks about things. And you listen to him talk, you listen to them talk, it's two very different versions of things. And you also, when he talks, they listen because he's saying things that they their mind hasn't gone to yet. Yeah. I'm going to say Russell Wilson one more time in a really good book. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really good book called It Takes What It Takes. Um, it's by Trevor Moab, who used to work at Exos. Um, he's a mental performance coach. He's worked with uh, Russell and many other NFL teams and athletes in college football and all these other sports. And he's at Alabama, Michigan, Trevor. Alabama, good job. yeah, he's yeah. followed Nick Saban everywhere. Yeah. Um, and, and he talks about neutral thinking and what you can control, and it's 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 really powerful stuff. It's super, super simple, but it's really powerful stuff. Yeah. 